I'm probably gonna go to Brazil. Hey guys, good morning. I made it to work on time. <laughs> I never have trouble getting to work on time, but today I was really worried because I had to leave my house at 6 a.m. or I was supposed to leave my house at 6 a.m. So I went all the way down to our garage. Guess what happened? I couldn't get my car to start. It would not start. I tried several times and then I got really worried and I was freaking out a little bit. So I called Mario. He was still at home because he doesn't leave for work until like 7 a.m. But he got up with me and made me breakfast. So he's really nice and all that. So he's the best. He really is. And then he got dressed and came down to our parking lot. And well, um, we tried to get it to start, but it wouldn't. Like you could still hear something, but I'm not sure. It might've been a problem with like the battery because it was really cold. And last night I started it just to see if I have enough gas for this trip in my car. Otherwise I would have gotten gas yesterday. But I had enough in there and then um, there was someone looking at me because I'm filming and there's someone driving by and that's really weird. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so it wouldn't start. So finally Mario was like, okay, just take my car and he would have just walked to work. So I felt really bad because it snowed and his work is a 25 minute walk away from our apartment. So I felt so bad for him, but he just texted me that he got the car to work. So he knows what he's doing. He used to work as a mechanic before he went back to school. So he got my car to work. He said it might have been due to the fact that it was so cold last night and that's why I had some trouble. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad he lent me his car. But anyways, I feel like I've talked for too long already. I kind of have to eat my lunch now or well, it's kind of like more like a second breakfast. It's only 9 a.m. So I got a trip. They gave me yesterday off. I was supposed to be on standby yesterday. Crew scheduling had called me on Monday. Today's Wednesday and they gave me yesterday off and they gave me a trip. Yay! So I'm probably gonna be going to a country I've never been to. I'm probably gonna go to Brazil. Yes, Brazil. I mean, it's kind of crazy right now with the mutations going around and all of that. But I mean, I'm probably not gonna leave the hotel much anyway. And they're my N95 mask and stuff, so I should be fine. But it's not a given that I'll get to go to Brazil because my whole crew is on standby in Frankfurt tomorrow. So in case any of our A350 flight attendants get sick or something, we have to be there. So we'll just have standby in the hotel tomorrow for, I think it's like from 12 till 9 p.m., something like that. So the whole crew is traveling to Frankfurt today because otherwise we wouldn't be able to do standby afterwards. So we're staying in Frankfurt tonight. Then we're in standby the whole day tomorrow, basically. And then on Friday, we are leaving for Brazil. And I'm really excited because I've never been there. And the weather is supposed to be like at least warm. It's probably a little rainy, but it's warm and I'm really excited. I have, I think I have like a 36 hour layover or something like that. And I'm so excited for the food. I've heard that it's amazing. So let's actually, um, let's actually eat my um, second breakfast. So I meal prepped like crazy. So I brought pizza from last night. I brought some tortellini for tomorrow. What else? Um, I meal prepped for Mario a bit too. Oh, the lights just went off. Um, brought like snacks. I brought granola bars. I brought some tomatoes, some carrots just to like snack on them. I brought some oatmeal. So I think I'm good. <laughs> I might buy some bananas and some yogurt for breakfast tomorrow, but I think I'm good for my time in Frankfurt. Breakfast in the car, how fancy. So this is my second breakfast, just some homemade bread and some cheese. got to my hotel in Frankfurt so the flight time to Frankfurt from Munich was about 45 minutes so it was just a very quick flight and there was no turbulence whatsoever it was a very very smooth flight the crew was amazing on the flight and my crew I haven't talked to them a lot because we all had different seats we were basically all sitting in the same area and that's basically it so I guess I really get to know my crew in the next few days 
And I'm not actually sure what my crew is going to do while we are here since we're all on standby. And I feel like there is a very slim chance of us getting cold since the crew that's going to work the flights tomorrow is already here. So unless someone calls in sick short notice, they're probably not going to need us as standby. So I feel like there is a pretty high chance that I'm going to Brazil on Friday. So we all just got tested for COVID because in order to go to Brazil, we all have to show them a negative PCR test that I think it can't be older than 72 hours. Yeah, I think it's 72 hours when we enter Brazil. So that's why we all got tested. My airline organized everything because I've gotten that question before why I have to keep getting tested and organizing myself when I travel between Austria and Germany. That's a whole different story. But when I actually work, my airline takes care of that. So we all got our uh, voucher codes and we all just got tested at the airport. They did a throat swab. You guys know I'm not the biggest fan of nasal swabs. I got one done yesterday that was negative. So I, I'm pretty certain that my test today will be negative as well. And yeah, but the, the one yesterday was just um, so that I have one when I go back to Austria because they tend to be a little picky at the border when it comes to tests. And technically I'm exempt, but you never know if the ones at the border really know. So anyways, let's show you around. I'm going to be here for more than 48 hours if I don't get called tomorrow when I'm on standby. So that's quite some time I'll be spending in Frankfurt. So I brought study material, I brought two booklets. I'm probably gonna make it through one maybe, we'll see. I didn't bring my laptop. I brought my iPad, which is my crew iPad, so I have to bring it. And yeah, right now I'm just gonna um, tell Mario that I arrived safe and sound. That's basically it for today. I'll probably go get some groceries later. I brought a ton of um, meal prepped stuff <laughs> so I think I'm good for the next few days. My hotel room is pretty big today so I've had smaller rooms in this hotel just my standard uniform. I got two beds there's a desk and then what I'm not a huge fan of though is there's a road right down there and you can really hear it so yeah I guess I'll have to deal with that Then here is the bathroom, got a bathtub, and a nice big mirror. Here's the food I brought. I brought pizza, I brought a ton of tortellini, some oatmeal, and some snacks, carrots, and um, tomatoes. I'm back from shopping, so I just went to the store. First of all, I bought this, it's peach yogurt. So I kind of wanted to buy some bananas and some plain yogurt, but they didn't really have any ripe bananas. All of them were really green and unripe and I really don't like unripe bananas. So I decided to go for some fruit yogurt so that I can put my oatmeal in in the morning. And then I bought this here. It's called Frühlingsquark. So basically it's kind of like cream cheese, but then again, it's lighter, like it's not as, as fatty, if that makes sense. So it has curd in it, like um, curd cheese, not lemon curd, curd cheese. And I feel like that's just gonna be a good dip. Honestly, I like spooning that stuff too. But it's gonna be a good dip for my lentil chips. And the ones that I bought are red bell pepper flavored. I know this flavor is not available everywhere, but I really like it. And I mean, I really like the plain ones too, but they didn't have them. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go for these ones. I'm pretty sure that I have had them here before. These are from Funny Frisch. I have definitely had some of their lentil chips before. Was it hummus chips? I like both. Uh, I really love lentil and hummus chips. I just finished my dinner, so I ate part of the pizza that I brought. I ate some carrot sticks and some tomatoes, and I tried that curd cheese um, spread, and it was really, really good. I also had some lentil chips, and they actually have this right here at the hotel. It's not really focusing, but it's hot chocolate and it smells so good. 
I'm not the biggest chocolate kind of girl, but hot chocolate's always good. This time I brought nail scissors because I always have them in my check bag because I brought a checked bag this time around. When I was here last month, I didn't bring any sort of like uh, nail clippers or nail scissors because I only have a carry-on. And some of you have mentioned that you can usually take nail scissors or nail clippers on board a flight. And while that's true, I have actually encountered some airports where it was not allowed or some countries where it was not allowed. I'm not sure which countries those were, but I remember that I specifically read it in our info, like we get this info package for every single trip. And while I could have probably taken them to Thailand, you never know, like flight plans can change, so I never want to take a risk. <laughs> Uh, and I wouldn't want to leave them at the airport. So this time around, I actually had those scissors to open my little uh, package of hot chocolate mix that they had in a room. So if you did not see me struggle opening that package last month, I'm going to link the video uh, in the upper right hand corner for you guys. Anyways, I'm excited to have this right now. I just talked to Mario on the phone for like an hour and now I'm just watching some... Netflix and I'm probably gonna go to bed soon. It's really late. Okay, it's 9 p.m. But still I'm tired. Good morning. It's currently 8 a.m. I just woke up. I had a good night's sleep. I actually didn't hear the cars down from the street too much. So I feel like the road wasn't as busy during the night, which is a good thing. I just heard them now and I just checked my system. It does not show any changes to my trip. I mean, it's not 100% certain that I'll go on my trip tomorrow. I could still get called. So my standby shift starts at 12 noon and it ends at 9 p.m. I believe. So my call at time is probably going to be like an hour or so. So I feel like uh, I can go outside for a little bit if I want. Maybe I'll do that in the morning um, so that I'm here for my actual shift. I could just stay in the area and just walk around there while I'm on standby as long as I have my phone with me. But I don't really feel like doing that if there's a chance that I might get called. So the weather is actually not that great today, so it's not completely rainy or anything, but it's overcast, so I don't know. Maybe I'll just go for a quick walk in the morning. Um, well, first I'm gonna have my breakfast, <laughs> and then I'll just go from there. According to the weather forecast that I checked prior to this trip, it was supposed to be rainy and cloudy and snowy today here in Frankfurt, but I just looked outside and apparently since this morning, well, it's only 9 a.m. So in the last hour it has cleared up. So it's not completely blue skies and stuff, but there are a few clouds out there, but I can definitely see the blue skies. So I'm just gonna go for a quick walk, just down to the river basically, and then come back here and get ready in case I get cold. I guess this is just like, kind of like my usual route here in Frankfurt. So I'm just walking along the river. Look at this old well. It's kind of gorgeous, isn't it? I feel like there's quite a ways down there. You can see the water on the bottom. Sun's out, so it's really, really bright. That was a really nice walk. It was a short walk, yes. It was so calm and peaceful, and I feel like there are basically no people around. The only, um, the only living things I can hear are birds. I like peaceful and quiet walks. It's just so pretty, like the river and there's some boats. 
and a castle. Actually, Frankfurt is pretty nice. How cool is this house? Look, it looks like it's made out of the same stone that wall is made out of. There are mirrors all around here. <laughs> Look at this sign, it's so pretty. That was a very nice little walk. It's now 10 a.m. So I just got back to my hotel room and let me just tell you the stuff here is so nice. So I always have that do not disturb sign hanging outside of my room and one of the employees here just saw me come back. And she was so nice. She was like, do you need anything? Do you need your room made up? Do you need any towels or anything? And I'm like, no thanks, everything's great. Uh, but that's very nice. That does not happen at every hotel. Look at all of that foam. I may have gone a little crazy here actually. Hey guys, I am back home as you guys can see. <laughs> so this trip did not go as planned. Um, where do I start? So I was in standby on Thursday. I think that's the last time I talked to you guys. I did not get called. And then in the evening I actually received a call. And that call actually informed me that there may have been some contact with someone who tested positive for the virus. So due to that, they decided to send everyone home who potentially could have had contact with that person. Um, at the time, we didn't know who they were talking about. So basically, most of the crew got sent home just as a precaution. So now I know more about it. I can't really talk about it due to, um, well, we have this data protection act here in Europe, so I can't really share any more than that. But I have talked to my local health department and I told them about a case and they also confirmed that there is a very limited chance that something could have happened since I was wearing an N95 mask whenever this potential contact could have happened. And there has always been a lot of distance and stuff. So basically what's happening right now is here we have this thing where you are K1 or K2. So K1 is when you had direct contact with someone without wearing masks or you didn't keep your distance and stuff and you had direct contact for an extended period of time and K2 is when you basically were in the same room or something with someone like at a hotel or something when you're in a lobby and they're in a lobby something like that or you're in a bus and someone on a bus um, tested positive for it, something like that or in a store or in a supermarket something like that so they told me that I would technically be a K2 person, which means that there is a low risk of me actually having something, of me having caught the virus. But that also means that I should limit my contacts, so I should not meet a lot of people or anything. I'm not in quarantine at this time, according to my local health department. They told me that I shouldn't use public transportation or anything like that. So I've had a test done. Today is Monday. I've had a test done today, so that test came back negative. So yeah, I think I'm good. <laughs> I still have to like measure my temperature once a day and all that. I haven't received an official confirmation from the authorities yet because they are still waiting for more information because they told me everyone could just tell them, oh, I might have had contact with someone who tested positive for the virus. And yeah, so I guess it's a lot of, um, it's a lot of paperwork they have to go through and yeah I'm just sticking to what they told me here so I'm not seeing anyone apart from Mario so um, yeah I felt really bad for coming home like I said they told me that it should be fine there is a very very low chance of having caught the virus or anything so that's why I am back home. That's why I didn't get to go to Sao Paulo, Brazil. That's why I'm actually off of work for, I think it's like the next two weeks, just as a precaution. And um, yeah, so <laughs> I was really excited about going to Brazil, but then again, I mean, who knows what it was good for. So I feel like when I couldn't get my car to start when I was going to work on what, Wednesday? My car was trying to tell me something that I shouldn't have gone on this trip, but yeah, I'm home now, so everything's good. Um, 
I just wanted to update you guys really quickly. I'm sorry I didn't get to show you around uh, Sao Paulo, but I mean, obviously my health comes first and these precautions are really, really important because obviously I don't want to risk anything and obviously my airline doesn't want to risk anything either and I feel like that's so important like social distancing and all that and if you really might have had contact with someone who might have the virus then you really need to make sure that you call your local health department that you make sure that you social distance that you isolate yourself all of that and yeah so that's why I'm home um I feel like the next video is probably gonna be a roster reveal video so I'm really excited because for April I actually got to bid on trips again <laughs> so I'm not sure whether that actually worked because bidding is a little different right now so everyone basically has one main bid before we had I think it was three bids in the beginning when I had a different contract I had two bids and then after I uh, was with the company for a while and I switched my contract I had three bids a main and then two additional ones so I don't know like everyone is going for this really good trips and I actually have 10 days of scheduled vacation time in April so due to that I couldn't really bid on a lot but I did bid on one trip so I'm not sure whether I got that trip but we'll know more once I get my schedule at the end of the week so yeah you guys that's what's going on don't worry about me like I told you guys I did have a COVID test done and it came back negative four or five days ago that potential contact could have happened so it should have shown up positive if anything would have happened we're also not seeing mario's family at the moment just because we don't want to put them at risk i'm not seeing my family either so um that was my phone it keeps ringing i don't know so yeah we're trying to be as safe as possible. I asked Mario if he could go to the store after work to pick up some groceries and obviously he was nice enough to do that. <laughs> and we also called and he's still allowed to go to work. Um, he's wearing his mask at work just as a precaution as well. So um, we're just being as safe as possible. Anyway, so I'm sorry you guys, this video did not go like I expected it to. Um, yeah, I hope you all are doing well. I hope you're all staying healthy. I hope you all have a great week. I'll see you next week and just don't worry about me. I'm totally fine. This is just a precaution and I'm very glad that this precaution was taken because I don't want to put anyone at risk. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, make sure that you click on the subscribe button down below and also make sure that you click on a little bell sign so that you don't miss any future videos. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, stay healthy, stay safe, have a great week and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.